Got to get this off my chest. Like now, when people say they want to go into space, I want to go. What do they space? typically mean by that? They what? mean I'm going to be an astronaut. I'm going to be. I'm going into space, man. I'm going okay. up there. I'm up going there, up there. Up there, and generally they mean they want to go into orbit. All right. Most no, anyone who has ever been in space, mean. they don't mean that. They want to go to space, man. Well, well, okay. If that's the case, uh, do you know how many people have left? Low Earth orbit. The Apollo okay. astronauts. Okay. Okay. That left Earth. Right. To go to the moon. All right. Okay. And that's right. that's space. Those are the only people who have ever left Earth for a destination. That's cool. Every other astronaut, hundreds of them, uh -huh. are called astronauts, and we still say they went into space. And what that means is they went into low Earth orbit. Oh, that's just awful. Uh, and so low Earth orbit is in practice, you know, where the space station is. It's about a couple hundred miles up. So, so, it, so <laughs> the Damn. distance from Earth's surface to the space station is less than the distance from New York City to Washington, D.C. Oh, oh. God, why are you depressing me like I'm this? I'm just trying, I'm just trying oh to be God. honest about this. This is awful. <clears throat> okay. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on Space Station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. And this is really the beginning, I think, of human beings leaving low Earth orbit.